Hi and welcome. In this video, you'll be learning how to create a custom workspace that's tailored specifically for your workflow. OK, let's get to it. My name's Ken Fisher and this is LiveLink Training. OK, let's get into creating a custom workspace. Now, when Photoshop first opens up, it throws everything at you. So here in, at the right hand side, you can see we've got every panel imaginable open. And it's taking up half my screen. You know, it really is a little bit of a, uh, a distraction. And I don't need them all. I don't need all these panels. So what I'm going to do is from the get go, I'm going to close all these panels down. And I'm going to do that by clicking on the little corner icon and clicking close tab group. And it'll take a minute, but in a minute, everything will be gone. So I've now got no panels and I'd like to now put the panels there that I want. So the panels are all live in the window menu. So if I click on the window menu, I'll say, well, I do want layers. So I'm going to have my layers panel open. And the layers panel is normally docked with channels and paths. Um, but I don't really like them docked. So I'm going to drag them out of the dock. So now I've got a free floating set of panels. And in this little dock area, I've got the channels panel and I've got the paths panel. Now I can build this how I like. Let's let's say I don't want the paths panel, so I'm going to drag that out. And then I'll close it down. I'll click the little X. So now I've got my layers panel and my channels panel. And that does seem to make sense. I quite like those two together. I'll just make that a little bit bigger. Now you can dock in a, in a multitude of ways. So if, for instance, I want my history panel. OK, so let's go and get that. I'll go to the window menu and I'm going to go down to history. And this is a useful panel to have open. Uh, where do I want it? Well, I could if I wanted, I could dock it in here with the layers and the channels by just offering it up till I get that blue line round and drop it in. And then I've got my layers and my channels and my history, but I can't see more than one panel at a time. So if I want to see my history panel and the layers panel, there is another method of docking that I can use. And I can grab my history panel and drag it out. But this time I can offer it up to the underside of the layers panel group. And if I just move it just a little bit further, you'll see that blue line appears. And when I let go, now my history panel is like magnetized to the bottom of my layers panel. So if I move this now, I move it all as one set. So let me just make that a little bit smaller so you can see it. And if I hover over the center area here, I can drag and make that a little bit smaller. So you see when I'm going here that I, I can actually create a set of panels that suit my workflow. Let me just make that a little bit smaller and that one as well. I'll just put it in that corner. I just don't want it docking. Now I can have as many different combinations of panels as I like. So let's have a look up here and say, what else do we want? Well, for this particular um, workflow, I might want some, yeah, I might want my character panel. Let's say I'm going to do some text. So the character in the paragraph panel, what I could do is I could put them in with the history panel. So I'll drop that into there and then I'll drop that into there and I can now make that a little bit bigger. So now I've got my history panel and I've got my character panel and I've got my paragraph panels and then up in the top area I can see my layers and my channels. Now that might be absolutely fine for what I want to do and if it is I could dock it. I could dock the whole panel or or minimize it. If you click this little double arrow here, it minimizes the panels and make them smaller. 
or I could redock the whole panel group. So if I push it over to the right until that blue line appears and let go, those are now docked to this side. But now I've got exactly the panels that I might want for my particular workflow. And I can now save this out as a custom workspace. So up here in this top corner, you can see that there are already existing workspaces. There is the Essentials 3D Graphic and Web Motion Painting and Photography. And these are just different combinations of panels and tools to suit a particular workflow. Now let's go down and we'll say I'm going to create a new workspace. And I'll call this like my basic workspace and this is asking do you want to save things well yes do I want to save all the keyboard shortcuts any I've made well yes I do do I want all the menus to be available in this yeah I do I want that and do I want the tool by in its present state yeah okay I'll save that as well and all this is now saved in that workspace and I'll click save now what I'm going to do is reset the workspace back to how Photoshop will bring it in. And that normally is the Essentials workspace. So I'm going to reset Essentials. So here is what Photoshop normally gives you and it's everything. And you might think, well, I don't want all this lot. You know, it's just taking far too much of my me, me area up and it's getting on my nerves. So now I can go to this little drop down arrow here and I've got my basic. That's the workspace I've just made. So if I click on that, it brings me back to my basic workspace. How cool is that? Now you can get very creative with the workspaces to suit you. So let's just have a look. I've created a couple of workspaces. Uh, this one is called basic left. And what this does, if you like all the panels and the toolbox to be right next to each other, all on the left hand side, there we are. And I could now switch back quickly and say, no, I want to go back to my basic. Now we can also look at the, a couple that Photoshop provide for us. So let's have a look at that. Let's have a look at, say, the photography one. And the photography workspace pulls together all the things that would be useful for us. We've got the histogram, we have the navigator, we've got libraries and adjustments, and of course layers, channels and our paths panel. Everything that as a photographer we might find useful. Okay, let's just go back to the My Basic panel and this is the one that we created earlier. Now if you want to delete a workspace, we just go up to the little down arrow and we have delete workspace. This will bring up the delete workspace dialog and it will ask you, well, which one do you want to delete? And I'll say, well, I'll delete my basic right. And I click on delete. Do I really want to delete it? Yes, I do. And then if we go back up and have a look, we'll see that that workspace is now being deleted. Well, that's it for this video. How to create a custom workspace that's tailored and suits your workflow down to the ground. I do hope you liked it. If you did, give me a thumbs up or leave a comment under the video. Now, don't forget, check out the more area under the video for any link to any downloads for free ebooks or download files. And please, Click that subscribe button for me and help me grow my Photoshop learning community. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.